Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast. And in this video I just thought I'd quickly give you a quick tip for the Apple remote. If you're someone who's got multiple Macs in your house or your household, such as me where I've got me obviously got me a Mac Mini what I'm on now, but I've also got the MacBook which is just in the corner of my room and sometimes it's it's on or sometimes it's um in sleep. And when I want to use my Apple remote, I mostly just use it with the Mac Mini. But if my MacBook's on as well, when I'm when I'm uh, selecting things on the Mac Mini, it starts interfering with the MacBook, and um, which can be a little bit annoying. iTunes can start opening up and stuff on the MacBook when I, when I only want it to open up on the Mac Mini. So solutions to this, well, I assume not everyone knows this, because I never know this till recently. But I just noticed in System Preferences, if you just go to security just in the first tab in general just unlock this you'll see at the bottom you've got the ability to disable the remote control simple as that it just um, disables your remote control infrared receiver on your computer which is great so if you've got a MacBook and you never use a remote with it don't care to um, you can just disable it so then that'll let no interference from your remote but also you can actually pair a remote so if you've got a remote and you just want to pair it to one device such as I want to repair my remote to my um, Mac Mini I can do and it'll be just paired with that one device also what I can also do is if I've got another remote which I have I've actually got two remotes I can pair that one with the uh, Mac Mini not the Mac Mini so the MacBook so basically you have the option to pair the remotes to certain certain Macs, or you have the option of just disabling it. So, basically, if you wasn't sure how to do this, and it were getting a, you were getting a bit annoyed with um, with the remote, just remember it's in the security settings part and preferences. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you later.